Hi guys, so I'm here with another video and today is February 26th and it is my main man Mr. Cash's birthday so happy birthday Johnny Cash. Johnny is a big inspiration to me. Um, I love his music, just the whole story about Johnny Cash and, and June Carter is just something that has always really, you know, had a special place in my heart. So happy birthday. Um, tomorrow we're going to party for his birthday so that'll be fun. Um, so this video is a little bit of a haul, a little bit of a review video, so let's get started. First thing I have is the Roller Lash by Benefit Cosmetics. It's a mascara, super cute packaging, my favorite. The brush is looks like this. And they, they say you don't need a curler when you're curling your eyelashes, that this stuff will do it. And I've used it for about two weeks now and it certainly does that so this is my new favorite mascara i usually use maybelline i don't spend a lot of money on mascaras because frankly i don't think they're worth it but this one's worth it so you guys go ahead and get out go out and get this mascara it's it's really awesome next product i have is a sample from benefit it's called their real push-up liner i know this has been around for probably like what two years now and um, I'm still giving it a shot. I've used it. I used it today. Um, it, the line is a little thicker than I usually do, so um, it's not as a precise line. So it's something to work with. Just keep on trying, perfecting the technique. With that being said, uh, my go-to liner is Kat Von D's tattoo liner. So I picked up another one of these because I ran out. I love this. It gives me the the line I need. The tip looks like that. I love it. It just stays all day and my eyes are sort of um, watery so they tend to um, the, the like eyeliner tends to come off so this doesn't come off and I love that so the next thing I got is also from Benefit. Benefit Cosmetics is just happening right now and they have a bunch of products I, lo I love. Um, I'm also really digging the balm right now. They don't sell it at Sephora anymore. You can get it at Kohl's and online of course. So, um, I do really love the bomb and Urban Decay. Always love Urban Decay and Make It Forever. So, anyway, let's get back to it. Um, this is Majorette by Benefit. It is a cream to powder blush. It is sort of orangey, peachy um, color. That's what the inside looks like. I really love this blush. I um, didn't think I was going to like it because I'm not a real big cream blush person. But um, I put a little bit on today and I. I'm in love and it says you can use it with another um, blush but I wouldn't I you, there's no need to so um, the next thing that I got <clears throat> is um, this duo brush on adhesive I wanted to give it a try because I usually buy the one that comes in a tube and just like having a brush to apply on the strip where you put your eyelashes on seems way smarter and like I don't know why they haven't always had this so um, I picked this up so I just wanted to give this a try um, and the next thing I got was from Bessemer Cosmetics. This is a, a vintage inspired or retro reproduction makeup company. I think they've been around since 2002. This is the Brightening Vanilla Face Powder and this is what the packaging looks like. And um, it comes with like this little powder puff and it smells like vanilla. And I'm, I'm digging it so far, so hopefully it still remains one of, like, my, like, my go-to products. We'll see. Uh, the next thing I got was, oh, it was, um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. Their liquid lipstick and sweet talker. It's a beautiful watermelon color. And I had such high hopes for this. And everybody on YouTube loves it. And I was going to order three, but I'm kind of glad I didn't. Um, this staying power, to me, it's not the greatest. Um, okay, so yeah, I, um, I don't know. Just like with my Lime Crime, it stays on. It's, a be it's beautiful coverage. This isn't always opaque to me. Like, they're, it's kind of blotchy in, in some spots, so... I don't know. I'm gonna keep trying this out. Hopefully, 
I don't know, I'll figure out some way that works for me and it'll be beautiful and I'll love it again and you know, be a happy ending. So hopefully. <laughs> and the um, last thing I got from Sephora was the solid um, cleaner for the beauty blender and I love my beauty blender so I wanted to give this a shot. Um, I have the liquid and the liquid works but this just seemed kind of convenient so well, let's try that. And the last thing in my haul is not beauty related that hang around here is not beauty related it is Halloween related so I got this vintage Frankenstein Halloween costume it's by Ben Cooper um, the box is in such great shape uh, here's the mask And here's the costume. I'm not really sure how this is like a Frankenstein costume. I, uh, I guess I can see, like, but just in case you didn't know, Frankenstein's right there. So the top is like a vinyl or a plastic, and then um, this is material, and it's in pretty good shape. Obviously, you can tell it's been, somebody wore this for Halloween. The bottoms are dirty, like they were dragging or something. But, um, Oh, yeah, okay, so this is, this is 1973 right here, so I, I'm, yeah, it's from 1973. Um, so that was super cool. That is all that I have for my haul today and my semi-review. If you guys have any ideas for more videos, comment, subscribe if you're new, and thumbs up the video. So thank you, thanks for watching, love you guys, and bye!